the thing is like I I didn't notice like how much this like weighed on me until I just read the email because over the past few days I had a bit of this like fear that maybe I don't pass you know maybe I have to pack up my room maybe I have to leave all my friends behind and yeah I don't know what I do then <laughs> um, I don't have a backup plan really um it it, it was it was a fear and I felt like, you know, over the past two days when I was in lectures, I felt a bit like undeserving because everybody who was there, you know, they went through their exams and I was the only person who didn't know if she got through her exams. Hello everyone, it's Alina and I'm back with a vlog and I'm here with Sijin. Hi. And um, we are set mates this year. Oh, oh my god. It's pretty iconic. Also, we already became parents, um, which is very special. Look at our children. There's a very iconic video that we made um, when we got them, and I'll just show it to you guys now. Hello. So, um, we're at Wilco, and we're officially becoming plant moms. Yeah, we have a vase, and um, because we don't have any you know, skills of keeping children alive. <laughs> I cannot raise plants. Yeah, same. We are getting these wonderful plants which will last forever and <laughs> because they're fake <laughs> we can like spray them with perfume so that we can pretend they're real we can just get a random spray from downstairs that like oh last. yeah like a room spray yeah with flowers i love it so yeah today is our first day of lectures um are we excited very yeah um i've dressed up to like motivate myself i'm not sure if it's gonna work um but it's an attempt Mm, this is not my final form yet. <laughs> we're coming back to see you. We're gonna give an update at uh, 11 when I go for lectures. <laughs> yeah, so she's gonna go at 11 and I'm gonna go like now, which is like 8. Um, so that I can sit in the faculty, stock the new freshers. Um, she's leaving me, like how dare she? I need breakfast and I can't You can make... come back to your room after breakfast. I could, but I could also sit in the faculty and stock the freshers. But we could do that <laughs> later. No, they're gonna be in there. Yeah, but we've got plenty of opportunities. Do you have like fear of being separated? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so uh, my plan is I'll go to the faculty and I'll um, hopefully finish my readings for international law. We both need to finish. I just have one article that I needs to be done. Okay, now I'm jealous because I have a bit more, but we'll get through it. Um, and then we have a few lectures and one lecture handout wasn't that great. So um, we have joined forces and we are typing everything up on a Google Doc and fixing it. I don't like typing. Same, but we're going to do it and we're going to get through it. And that's pretty much the plan for the day. Just a lot of work. Oh, let's do it. We've already started work <laughs> and Tom just started. So yeah, life of a second year law student. It's good. You guys have so much to look forward to. <laughs> now so it's almost 6 p.m. now and I've been quite productive in the library I gotta say I finished all of my work for my international law supervision next week and I'm proud and before you comment me for printing this being unsustainable I have to okay um, my supervisor insists that we bring paper to our supervisions and that we don't use our laptops or tablets so 
I'm bringing paper. This is also new for me. Um, but this is not that rare for Cambridge. There are quite a few supervisors who still insist on paper. Um, so I just, you know, try to highlight some stuff that's important and, you know, take a few notes on it. And yeah, I hope that's going to be enough. Um, and we're going to see how my note taking on paper looks because I haven't really taken notes on paper in quite a while. Um, but yeah, we're going to give it a try. So the plan now is I'm going to read a little bit just for fun to like take my mind off academia for a moment. Um, but it's still about law um, because it's Jeremy Hutchins case histories. Somebody sent me this book um, and unfortunately there was no note with it so I don't know who sent it. But thank you so much for sending this to me. I didn't know this book existed but obviously I'd heard of Jeremy Hutchinson. I mean he's a really famous British lawyer who was involved in some pretty big cases. So I'm really excited to read it and I'm just going to read a little bit in it now um, just to you know take a break. And I think then I'm quickly going to go over the lecture handouts from today to make sure that my notes on it are clear. And the one lecture handout where Sijin and I took notes together on it because um yeah it was a little bit it was a little bit empty for a lecture handout um because it's more of like an overview lecture so we were worried that we wouldn't be able to know everything down um so that's why we decided we're just both going to take notes and we made it like a table and we're just going to consolidate that like at the end of the day and i'm taking the first two lectures which are on this lecture handout and i'm just going to do it then and the other two lectures Susan is going to do it so I'm just going to do that like after I read a little bit and then later on I'm going to get dinner with some people from Hong Kong because we have this thing where we, people from St. John's College who um, came here from Hong Kong, we meet up every once in a while and we just grab dinner together. And it's just a nice thing to like talk to other people um, who also lived in Hong Kong. Um, so that's what I'm going to do in the evening and I don't think I'm going to do more supervision work. I've been productive, I finished my international law supervision work and I even started my land law supervision work. So... I think we're doing well, at least I hope we're doing well, and yeah, that's the plan for now. Good morning guys, it's the next day and I didn't really talk to you guys yesterday because I was really tired, um, but the dinner was good and today I'm trying out this new water bottle that I got and this was a gift and honestly I'm feeling like such an influencer now that I got free stuff. Um, this is the first time that I like got something for free, um, so I'm really really grateful to Matter who sent me this. Um, and it's actually really good because I needed a water bottle which like, has like a lid which you can drink out of which you can here um, Which is great because my other water bottle doesn't have that and Occasionally, yeah, it just like I drink and like I get the water all over which is not that great um, But my other water bottle is bigger and which is also like a pro for the other one Because um, I try to drink more water, but I'm gonna try out this water bottle today and I put in my rose flavor which I love. I would highly, highly recommend this. This is not sponsored in any way. I just love it um, because it tastes really good and you can keep it in your water bottle for like seven hours and you can just drink it. Um, so, you know, you don't have to just drink tap water while you're in the library, which is quite nice. Also, the new water bottle is matching with my phone because Cijan got me this cover here, which I really love. <laughs> She just doesn't ever room, she just saw me talking about it. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is like so matching for me because I mean, I love fries. Um, so yeah, the yellow matches. Um, they also sent me a little cup, which maybe I'm going to try it out later. Um, but I'm more of like a water bottle person. But yeah, thank you so much for sending this to me. And I'm going to link it in the info box below if you guys are interested. Um, I honestly love the color. I think it looks really cool and the lid is just great and it doesn't leak which is the important thing um, So I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a water bottle at the moment And now I'm gonna get ready and then I'm gonna go to the battery get breakfast And then I'm gonna walk to the faculty and I'm gonna do more work because my land law supervision is coming up quite soon So I gotta finish my work for that also, we had a little accident last night, so our bathroom doesn't exactly look as it used to. It's not a big thing, but um, basically we used to have um, a glass thing here and you could just, you know, put your stuff on the shelf, but it broke away yesterday. So now we only have our toothbrushes and toothpaste here. Um, so that happened and um, we're going to ask maintenance to fix it. So the way it works, if anything in your room breaks here in college, you can just email them and they will come and fix it, which is super, super nice. Um, so that's what we're doing and it'll probably be fixed like by next week. So yeah, now it's time to get to work.
going back so I only had one lecture um so yeah I'm pretty much done for the day which is great um so I just quickly went to the buttery and they had pizza it looks a bit weird because I had to like squish it into the takeout box but trust me it tastes good and then I also got this um which they had and I, I don't know if this is going to be good I have no idea um it's like yogurt and oat clusters it's like blueberry taste I don't know it sounds pretty cool in my opinion um so I'm gonna try this let's see if it's good um and yeah that's pretty much my lunch and after that we're gonna get back to work because I haven't finished anything for land law really except for one reading but yeah um but the lecture today was a land law lecture and I gotta say um it really changed my mind on the subject because I wasn't very excited about taking land law and land law is a compulsory subject and like in the first readings that I did and in my summer readings, it sounded a bit boring, like very technical and just like, look at the statute and apply the statute and that's it. Um, but the lecture today already showed like there's so much more to it and there are like some serious considerations like regarding justice, fairness, certainty and stuff, which I didn't expect from the subject at all. So I'm actually really excited to take it now and a lot more motivated to do my readings, which is good. So here's the plan for the rest of the day. I'm going to eat my lunch, then I'm going to do a bit of work here in my room and then I'm going to go out um, to meet up with a friend who I know from Germany and we're going to get some coffee. And also I need to get like through all the landlord supervision things because I have three supervisions next week and I'm only done with one, which is international law. So I'm aiming to finish land law latest by Sunday to then start with jurisprudence so that I'm ready for all three supervisions. So yeah. Let's do it. Okay, I was gonna like, you know, do like a time lapse now, but I just found out that I passed my exams, all of them. Like literally I put the camera down, took out my phone, like looked for my emails and there was an email from my director of studies and she was like, good news about your exams, you passed. And I was like, whoa. Um, and oh my God, this means so much to me, which is so weird because the exams are pass fail. That's a very low standard here at Cambridge. Like, you know, you basically would have to try to fail in order to fail. Um, but the thing is, like, I, I didn't notice, like, how much this, like, weighed on me until I just read the email. Because over the past few days, I had a bit of this, like, fear that maybe I don't pass. You know, maybe I have to pack up my room. Maybe I have to leave all my friends behind. And, yeah, I don't know what I'd do then. <laughs> um, I don't have a backup plan, really. Um, it, it, it was, it was a fear and I felt like, you know, over the past two days when I was in lectures, I felt a bit like undeserving because everybody who was there, you know, they went through their exams and I was the only person who didn't know if she got through her exams and yeah, I, I hadn't noticed like how much this affected me until I just read the email and like, you know, like when you feel like this weight, just, you know, going off your shoulders, that's what it was like. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really, really glad to have these news. Um, all of the standard is really low. It means a lot to me. Um, because honestly, last year was not great for me. Um, putting it mildly. <laughs> um, and you know, I'm, I'm really proud of myself for, for doing this. And I mean, I was very sick during exams. If you heard my voice and my exam vlog, it was not great. Um, but I went through it and, um, I did it without complaining and I'm proud of that. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to have these news, honestly. You have no idea how much this just meant to me. I think I'm now gonna write like a really, really nice thank you to my director of studies, you know, for making my day. Um, and yeah, then it's time to go back to work. it's been a while um i did have coffee with my friend um it was really good um i'm like a bit of a hermit as you know <laughs> <laughs> oh so it's, it's good like that's someone surprise. yeah it's, it's good that someone asked me to like leave my room and not work <laughs> and cj was so nice she actually like got me like food from the chocolate fountain in college oh yeah can you imagine our college just like you know organized stuff like a chocolate fountain for us and you can just go and get stuff for free. We love John's. Um, 
So yeah, now I'm um, pretty much the rest of the day is just going to be work. Yes, but I've got a house party. She's got a house party because she's like the social one of us. Um, I've got work <laughs> and sleeping. But tomorrow we're going to watch Shane Dawson's new episode. You know, I'm so excited for this. Honestly, I love it. Love it too. I it's such a good series. Can't wait. Oh yeah, we are doing that tomorrow. Yeah, we are. I nearly forgot. <laughs> Thanks. No, 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 no. It's good to know how high I am on Susan's priority list. <laughs> I just need to put it in my schedule. Oh, I'll invite you to my calendar event. <laughs> oh my god. I will be so honored. <laughs> No, so we're gonna watch that tomorrow, so that's gonna be good. Um, but the rest of tomorrow will be working because I only have finished a work for one supervision and I have free next week. So same. Yeah, but you're she's further than me, I think. Um, so you know we need to get going. Good morning, guys. So um, CJ and I are on our way to McDonald's. Yes, for breakfast, which is really good. News. I like McDonald's breakfast. Oh, see, she likes something about McDonald's. I never said I disliked it, I just don't go there often. Like, whenever I ask you, you're like, can we maybe do something else? Yeah, because I like to have a balanced diet. I like a balanced diet too, that's why I sometimes get a burger and sometimes I get chicken McNuggets. Um, but yeah, there we are, guys. On our way to McDonald's for breakfast. Also, I'm not wearing makeup because today nobody's gonna see me because I'm just gonna do work. What a mood. Yeah. <laughs> that's my weekend um, so that's why I'm looking like crap but I'm really happy so yeah so guys um, we're watching Shane Dawson series um, eating McDonald's obviously my McDonald's phone is here too um, yeah I'm so tired and I want to sleep same but instead we're watching this because Jeffree Star is an icon and then we're gonna work yay As you guys can see, I migrated, um, so now I'm studying here, like, literally, like, at my window. But it's actually really comfortable, and, like, I like it, you know, like, you look down at your book, and then you can just, like, look at the river, which is lovely. Um, so that's pretty much the plan for the rest of my day, um, and that's just what I'm going to do. It's kind of hard to film here, because, like, it's, there's, like, barely enough space for me. Um, so I think I'm going to end this vlog here. But I love this new study space, I gotta say, it's really, really nice. Um, also, I've been like using this bottle so much. Um, it's not sponsored, like I don't have to like tell you guys that it's great. Um, I really like it because it has this lid where you can, you know, just like drink out of, which I needed. And you can like close it up and just put it in your bag. And like, that's what I needed. Um, if you guys are interested in it, I'm going to link it in the info box below to get it with the book, which I'm reading at the moment, um, as always. Um, but yeah, it's not sponsored. I just like the bottle. I need a water bottle. So yeah, that's really <laughs> everything. Um, and now I'm hopefully, you know, going to finish Landlord today because God knows I need to. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Bye.